much you want to tell me to be with you for Christmas. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Is there any change in his blood count? Uh, I'm waiting to hear I have a meeting with Dr. Frame. Well, maybe he'll have some good news. Tell me, was a lot perky when I was in there with him just now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when Tom first got hit with this, the doctors gave him a 65 to 80 percent chance of recovery. Well, those are very good odds. Why does my kid have to be on the loose in it? I wish I could. Oh. It's crazy, you know. Even though nothing is working, I still keep hoping. Could it keep on hoping? You could have. I remember going through all this when Dennis was Tommy's age, and I would sit by his bed and I'd watch him suffer and wonder why he had to go through so much pain, and all I could do was pray for a miracle. And he didn't die, right? No, he didn't die. Well, I've been praying for miracles, too, but so far... Tommy's fighting it. He's fighting it with every breath he takes. I watch that, and when I see it, I just see something miraculous every single day. That kid's something else, isn't he? Yes, he is something else. He's <sighs> only a little boy, Hank. But he needs his daddy. Well, I know Tommy's strong. I'm just not sure about me. I don't know how long I can pretend everything's going to be all right. Oh, I'm very sure about you, Hank. You know, today I went to buy a Christmas tree, but I couldn't go through with it. I didn't want it in the house. If Tom was going to be someplace else. Now, you listen to me, Hank Kent. We are going to go out, and we're going to buy the biggest and the best Christmas tree around, and we're going to put it right there in Tommy's room if we have to. And you know what else? We're going to look forward to it just as much as Tommy does. We are? Yes, we most certainly are, because we've still got that precious, that precious little boy, and we've got so much to be grateful for. I wonder if Tommy's crazy about you. How did this happen? swallowing? A little, but I always gag under Mr. Drew Meatloaf anyway. <laughs> Look, I think I'm going to hook you back up to that high test later on tonight, okay? I guess I'm not doing too great, huh, Dr. Harrison? Actually, you're doing much better. Your fever's gone down. But no skateboarding, right? I think that would be pushing it just a little bit. Okay. I need you to give me a straight answer, Tommy, okay? How do you feel? Okay. Even though your body's fighting a major battle, I mean, even a superhero would be a little worn out from all that. Okay, so I have solved battle fatigue. Well, you know, there's a solution for that. I know the drill. Rest, rest, and more rest. And you got it. So I heard the nurses say that you won your battle with Dr. Frame. <laughs> well, I don't know if won is the right word. It cost me a lot. Is Dr. Frame mad at you now? Well, I, I don't think so. Not anymore. Are you mad at him? You sure ask a lot of questions, Tommy. Okay, I'll cut to the chase. Are you and Dr. Frame going to become boyfriend and girlfriend again? Uh, well, I think we're just going to be friends for right now. But you two are nuts about each other. Yeah, we hurt each other. <laughs> Look, Tommy, sometimes so much happens that even though you want things to go back to the way they used to be, you can't, no matter how much you want it. I know what you mean. Do you miss him? Um, sure I do. Sometimes I miss my mom. I'll bet. She has a hard time with me being like this. That's why I don't see her much. I'm sure she loves you very much, Tommy. Yeah. You know, I used to hope that she and my father would get back together again. Well, it would probably be very hard for them. Yeah, it would probably be like me trying to get back to the way I was before I got sick. How was that? Well, it's tough to explain. I know a lot of stuff now that I didn't know then. Stuff that people never learn. I understand a lot, Tommy. Tommy! Sorry to come by and give you the once-over. Too late. 
Dr. Harrison beats you. She's got all my stats. Ah, so how is he doing? Oh, he's holding his own as usual. Okay, Doc, here's the lowdown. I'm fine. But you two need some rehab as soon as possible.